Welcome back to another video. Today is a work from home day. It's Thursday before the bank holiday weekend. So I am literally ready to get this day over with. I've got a really busy one, lots of calls, lots of meetings. Well, they're basically calls and meetings are the same thing these days. I've been doing a, a little bit of work. It's now 20 to nine. I start at nine technically, but I had a few things to get done early this morning. Next year is year end for us. So it's gonna be a very busy few weeks for me. I probably won't do much in the way of like work vlogs. I think I'll just do more weekend stuff. I have my little coffee here. This is helping me along. This is from, this is a little keep cup from Monmouth Coffee. They don't actually let you, they don't use any paper cups anymore. So unless you bring your own keep cup, they make you pay a five pound deposit and you obviously get it back when you return the cup, but you can also keep the cup. And I think it's really good value for money. It's like the perfect size for a flat white. I'm gonna do the first spin class that I've done in a long time tonight i'm thinking half five if i can make it to that class or more likely it'll be the 6 30 class it's just over in clapham so it doesn't take too long to get to but as you've probably seen from my vlogs i've not been to spin in a few weeks now and it's so depressing they actually send you emails telling you how long it's been and being like we miss you please come back and it's kind of like oh god the weather is absolutely mental today it has been it's raining currently and it's been like this kind of gray weather over here and now like the sun is just coming in it was sunny earlier and then it went to dark black clouds and i had to put all the lights on in here and then now it's like the sun's beating in anyway that's not very exciting stuff to chat about obviously i'm going to show you my lunch as usual and i am also going to pick up something on the way home from mns to make a nice start of the bank holiday weekend dinner Although it's going to be somewhat healthy because I have been feeling in a bit of a, not in a rut, but just, I think it's just like my, the where my cycle is at, at the moment and I've not been exercising and I had pizza for dinner last night. I had a full curry the night before and it's just been like quite hectic. Work's been quite full on. I've been in the office four days as usual and I'm just feeling a little bit exhausted. So I'm going to go easy on myself, but I want to keep healthy. Ready for the day. I feel quite good. I feel really pleased that I made myself shower. I was going to do one of those things where I was like, my hair doesn't need washed. Like maybe I'll just, you know, put a bit of makeup on and whatever. And actually I just needed the flow of water over my head. I need to stand in the shower for like 10 minutes and just sulk for this morning and then snap out of it. So that's what I've done and I feel a lot better for it. I also need to drink a lot more water. I just feel that dehydrated way. I can see it in my skin. I can see it like in all areas of my life and I'm just like, I need to drink water. I need to eat some vegetables and just be a little bit healthy. I also think later tonight, I am gonna do a bit of fake tan because that always helps me feel like I'm in a bit of a holiday mode and it's bank holiday weekend. So it'll be nice to like do a little glow up for myself. So I think that'll come after spin, of course. Um, maybe I'll do a little face mask and stuff as well. Anyway, I'm going to get on with some work now and I will probably chat to you guys at lunchtime. I've been so rubbish at vlogging today. It's now 20 past one. My clock still says quarter to 11, as you can see. I didn't have time to make lunch. I've had like such a busy morning that I decided I would order a little Joe and the Juice. I know this is very basic, but I love a Joe and the Juice sandwich. And I went for tuna this time. I never normally go for tuna. Usually I get the chicken club, even though you know I love tuna. Thought it would be nice to get the spicy one because I love jalapenos with tuna. And I often make that in a wrap at work. So I got a little drink and the tuna What's it called? Spicy tuna, tuna cado. I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna dive into it now.
This doesn't look so full considering it's double tuna, but let's go. Let's have a little try. It's really good. I can tell they put loads of dill in this. Dill is one of my favorite herbs and it tastes delicious. I'm gonna enjoy this now. I might actually just work through my lunch and just eat this at my laptop because I have a call coming up at two o'clock that I need to be ready for. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I think this is from my mom. She has told me that she's sending me something and I think it's to do with me getting a thousand subscribers on YouTube, which is so sweet. It's obviously flowers, it's from the M&S flower shop. A bunch of tulips, oh my God, my favorite. Tulips are literally my favorite flower. Please hydrate me by cutting my stems and place me in water, then watch me bloom. Oh my God, I love getting flowers. Thank you so much, mom. This is so cute. <laughs> oh my God, you'd think I had like a million subscribers with this. I'm gonna have a quick break from work while I just chop the stems off of these and put them into this vase. This vase I actually got from, I mentioned it a while ago in one of my vlogs, but I don't know if anyone has watched those because they're quite old now, but I made this in social pottery in Camden, I think it was. Me and my brother, Matt, and then my brother's flatmate went to paint pottery and I made this little vase and I actually love it. It cost, I think it was 40 pounds for the vase and my big stripy one over there is from Hey Design Liberty and that was like 80 pounds and I'm sure you could paint something exactly the same as that in social pottery or one of those places. And it's like a really good fun day out. So I would highly recommend. Why am I out of breath? I feel like I'm out of, I get so excited when I get gifts. I'm such a, it's one of my love languages, I think, is gift giving. And I don't know if that's like really, um, what's it called, materialistic to admit, but I just love getting a little present. I would normally do something like this on the kitchen island, but there is obviously like no space up there. So I've got my work stuff. <laughs> They're just sleeping just now. <laughs> oh, I love them. I feel like these might be like a little spring daffodil. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Isn't that the cutest gift you've ever seen? Apparently these like start to bloom. It says it on the thing that you put them in water and then they start to stand up. So I will give you another little peek at them in a little while, but I really need to join my call, like literally right now. So. BRB. I've had packages arriving literally all day today. Some gifts that I actually picked up from Amazon for our niece and nephew that we're going to see tomorrow in St Albans when we go for a nice like family lunch. So I wanted to quickly show you. So they're seven and four. So I just thought the little boy loves the number blocks. These are like little things that you like stick together and they make numbers. I got him like a little book with some like marker things and then the easter like coloring in book basically and then some like really cute pastel pens which i think look so sweet i love these colors i would actually like these myself i feel like i've definitely got a streak of stationary hoarding going on in me but yeah i thought they were really sweet for the kids and we're going to take them up tomorrow i'm going to get like a little gift bag and some tissue paper and a lint bunny or something i'm sure they'll get loads of easter eggs so we didn't want to just like get them a random easter egg Anyway, the most exciting thing that's arrived is something for me from Matt. Let's see what he's got me. It's in this box. Please excuse this big knife that's like hanging around here all day. It's in this big box and I think it's an Easter egg. He always gets me an Easter egg. Hang on, let me prop you up. I do not need this bread knife to open this pack. Here. Ah, the Hotel Chocolat Easter egg. He always gets me a lovely Easter egg from Hotel Chocolat. I feel so fancy when I say that. This is the extra thick everything egg. Half dark, half milk dark fusion, half milk with hazelnut praline, piled high with truffles, pralines and caramels. Oh my God, that's my idea of heaven. They always come in these nice like tubs. Should I open it? I think I can. I mean, it's Easter, it's Easter on Sunday, but I'll probably eat this tonight. And I may as well show you. Oh, so this is quite handy. I mean, Easter's gonna be gone by the time you see this. Actually, no, it's not. Easter's gonna be tomorrow by the time you see this. And it comes, this is the top. This is the same one as last year, I'm pretty sure. And it comes like this. And then in there's all the bunnies. Oh my God, it's so cute. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> but all these little bunnies, it's so sweet. How cute. I'm not gonna eat any now. I'm gonna share it with Matt. 
little cream egg. Love it. Thank you so much, my love, if you're watching, which you're probably not. And the egg is super thick as well. For the rest of the day, I don't have no concept of what time it is. I feel like it's about four o'clock now. I have a few more emails that I need to send before signing off for the bank holiday weekend. I've already got my gym stuff on underneath, as you can see my sports bra, underneath my clothes. So I'm all ready for the gym, but I wanna do a little tidy up before we head out for that. I'm really getting into the bank holiday spirit. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm going on holiday tomorrow and I'm <laughs> definitely not. I'm gonna go and send these emails now and then get sorted out for the weekend. I'm all ready to go. As you can see, I'm all wrapped up because the weather is absolutely mental. It's like the craziest winds that I've seen in a long time. This tree could maybe take off in a minute. Whoa, I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> I hope it doesn't fall. I mean, I'm sure it would come crashing straight through here, but our bedroom's in the back. So hopefully it doesn't come to that. But if it does, I think we'll be all right. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna get the bus today. It's really not in my usual character to get the bus to spin because it only takes about six minutes on the train to Clapham Junction to go to the spin studio, but I'm pretty much ready and the bus takes a little bit longer, but it's a nicer walk rather than going into town. Um, I'm just gonna walk across the park and get on the bus. So that's gonna be nice. I meet Matt Spin, we're doing a little class together. Then we're gonna go via m &S, our favorite Friday night or Thursday bank holiday evening activity to do and just go and browse and see what we want for dinner. We're gonna get something yummy. And then, yummy but healthy, as I said earlier. And then we also have to pick up those extra bits for the kids' um, Easter gifts. And yeah, I'm looking forward to celebrating the fact that we're on holiday for four days now. I fancy a little drink tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna have like a gin and tonic. I don't really fancy opening a bottle of wine because we won't be here. Well, we will be here tomorrow night. Anyway, maybe I'll just get a nice bottle of wine for myself. And the best part about this bank holiday weekend, because usually on a Friday, I don't think Married at First Sight's on a Friday. Anyway, it's on tonight because it's Thursday. I'm sure it's on tonight. I hope it's on tonight. If it isn't, I'm going to be upset, but we'll find something else to watch. And yeah, we're just going to have like a chill night in tonight. And then we're up early tomorrow for going to St Albans. So very exciting. Oh my God. Right, I'm gonna get my shoes on. Actually, I've got my shoes on. I'm gonna get my bag and head to spin. Okay, the reason it's not in my nature to get the bus to spin is because they cancel and it is canceled. So now I have to walk down and get the train, but it's fine because I've left enough time. in here currently which is good because I've never been able to show you guys the changing rooms before um we've got about 10 minutes and then I need to go into the class so I'm all ready to go I've had two glasses of wine so I'm a little bit woozy after spin but I thought I would quickly very quickly just show you what we picked up at M&S. One of my really good friends, Nina, actually suggested that I try out this combination. So I'll show you quickly first. These are what we got for the kids for their little Easter gifts. We got two of them, of course. Matt actually dropped one, so one of them might actually be a little bit smashed up. But anyway, we got these hot cross buns that Matt really wanted to try, the chocolate flavor. I don't think I've actually ever tried a hot cross bun in my life before, so. And then we have fruit and then just Oh. Then this is what my friend Nina said to try, which are, these are the Herbie Halloumi kebabs. 
So we're going to put these in the air fryer. These are mostly for me, so I'll probably just have like two of them. And she specifically suggested that we pair it with the super green salad. I think it's this one, Nina. Correct me if I'm wrong, but she said these go really well together. So I'm going to have a couple of these and some of this and maybe some kind of carb of some sort, but who knows? I'll figure that out in a minute. And then we also got some of these for tomorrow, the almond butter, not almond butter, all butter, almond and hazelnut croissants. My flowers from earlier are looking a little bit better. They have properly like firmed up. They were so floppy earlier and now I feel like they've, yeah, drunk some water and they're gonna bloom. So they're gonna be really sweet. I'm about to put the halloumi in the air fryer. Matt's having chili for dinner, second round of chili. And my mum texts me saying that Married at First Sight is mental tonight. So we are very excited for that. It looks like it's gonna be a really good episode. So I will show you dinner when it's ready. Dinner is served. I have the halloumi skewers here, some Mexican grains and the superfood salad, which looks incredible. Matt is having his chili, which is still to be plated up. And we are ready for Married at First Sight. We can't wait. This is the one where there's gonna be a big fight across the table. We're very excited about it. Yeah, there is. With um, the kickboxer and Timothy. We're very excited. So we're gonna settle down. We're gonna eat this. And I'll just show you Matt's chili. <laughs> Look how much he's made. That is actually barbaric. That is too much. I'm really hungry. Look. <laughs> and he's got garlic bread. <laughs> Have you ever seen a plate of food that size? Anyway, no food shaming here. Yeah, We're going mean... <laughs> to... What? Yeah. No food shaming. We're going to enjoy our meal and we're going to watch Married at First Sight and I'm very excited about it. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Happy Easter. Yeah. I hope you're all having a lovely day. And I will see you for the next video on Wednesday. Bye.